Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kia Tatiana here. by the title today has been such a rough morning afternoon it's currently like 2 30 it's been such a, like a rough afternoon however i got to take some content photos i've been just praying spending time with the lord because today's just one of those days you guys that i actually feel homesick and it's not homesick to where i want to go back but it's homesick, like I wish they could come here. <laughs> so, I do, I do, I feel homesick. I have been making friends here. Part of it is, like my mom was saying, like maybe it's cause you're not being around other people here, but I have been doing my best. I may be going out this evening with some of my sisters from church and hopefully that like helps my mood and how I feel. But it's not like, I, I was, I'm trying to explain it and put it into words on like exactly how I feel, but it's more of like a, I just wanna be around my friends and my family members. So if you guys are watching this and you're my friends and my family, I miss y'all. So, I, <laughs> I don't wanna cry in this vlog, but I do. It's really hard. Um, it's been one month already that I've been living alone in Atlanta. I can't believe it's been one month already. I've been living in Atlanta for one month. Crazy, crazy. But I love it. I love it here. It's so many, so many things that I have been learning about living in Atlanta. And yeah, I'm gonna get into it. So I just want to speak with you guys a little bit about some things that I have been learning, living in a new state, in a new city, and that whole transition period. I think I can finally speak about it since I'm here for about a month. So I'm just going to think off of my head. So I didn't write nothing down, but I just want to share with you guys some things that I've been learning. And one is don't be afraid to feel your emotions or if you're a person like me that misses people often or get homesick often, I remember back in the days like when i was a child um when my mom officially my mom and my dad officially let me sleep over at a friend's house i remember if kaira is watching this that was my childhood best friend she would tell y'all that i would never stay the full night at her house because i'll be crying all night and i was probably like 10 like i'll be crying all night long like i was homesick and she lives like three blocks away so i was naturally that i am naturally that person that loves to be around um i like to be comfortable around people that i know and it's not that i'm not comfortable around people here but it's, it's more so like i'm still getting adjusted like i'm still getting to know these people here and i love you guys my friends that i've been meeting here i love you guys if y'all watching this too um but it's also new for me it's a new set of people new people have to get to know people new people that have to learn more about me and like you know vice versa it's only been 30 days literally it's only been 30 days and i've only known some of them for about two three weeks it's been a it's been an adjustment but i would say for for sure to make sure that you're not suppressing your emotion i really thank god that i have god because i don't know how i would be able to get through it and i have a few people in my life right now that is here that truly does love me and i can actually feel that so i appreciate that so much from y'all <laughs> But what else have I learned? I have definitely learned that living in a new city requires lots of um, patience. It requires lots of uh, stillness. It requires lots of praying. It requires lots of, uh, yeah, I, that's what I could think about right now. Patience because I need to be patient in one, getting my house together, I'm meeting new people, getting to know new people. It requires stillness because all the new things that are happening around you you aren't able to discern as effectively if you are not being still in the to the voice of god so essentially like after being around a whole bunch of people i love coming home and just spending time with god and hearing from him what exactly he desires out of those friendships these new people and all of those things it requires stillness and it requ i can't remember what was the last thing i said but uh i think i said okay i can't remember the last one i'm sorry but those are two of the things that i feel like it definitely requires and i would highly advise anybody that's looking to move to a new state or it's a new city to make sure that you understand what you're getting yourself into 
in terms of moving somewhere where you have not you don't have that many people to go around to go to go to that you're comfortable with and i've said this before i have family members here in atlanta that i could go see if i want to but they're also they also have their own families like they're grown and type stuff love you can yell like I, it's it's just that but i love her so much i'm glad that i have a cousin here i have two twin cousins here that are they like my cousin cousins like we got the same our dads our brothers type stuff like we cousins cousins all right <laughs> of course like who wants to like just be bothering somebody all the time but maybe that could just be me i'm just i'm just thinking out loud y'all it could just be me yeah y'all um it's been really quite the adjustment i've been trying not to be so down about it and cheer myself up really just like really thank god for even bringing me here for what he is doing here and the people that i am connecting with and new friendships that are being built the new relationships that are being built it's very much so of an honor to uh for god to see me fit to fulfill duties and tasks in this new city in this new state i have been seeing exactly what god been wanting me to do here which i'll share eventually in a new video but it's been amazing to just witness and what hold up do y'all like my hair though because i don't know if i came on the vlog with my hair straight i'm sorry I have like the attention span of a rabbit. Look how long my hair got, y'all. Hold on. Let me show y'all. Y'all, first of all, first of all, I'm gonna turn around. First of all, my hair is at bra strap left. Do y'all see this? Do y'all see this? And it's healthy and it's full, y'all. My hair is full, it's healthy. I've been revealing my furniture and look. I said that I wasn't gonna reveal my furniture that I um I said that I wasn't gonna reveal my furniture until my whole apartment's complete, but y'all can't even really see it much. Y'all see that I got white sheets, I got a white bed, like it is it is my furniture is white. <laughs> Cats up the bag, furniture is white, but y'all haven't got the full glimpse, so it's totally fine with me. But I'm very hungry. Like I said, just created some content this tripod is the best it's a phone tripod that i got from amazon it's the best because you're able to take your own photos and i think with my skin like this it has been teaching me a lot about patience um because i lack patience that's something that i've i pray about often but color in my hair is definitely growing out it's at the ends now i remember early last year like august it was like up to here but now it's fully growing i'm very very hungry i got this little cup on my bed shout out to my best friend gabby for getting me this cup it has a k on it i used it to take some of the photos for instagram that photo on my instagram so i highly suggest that you guys go check out my instagram page and and go like that photo no i'm going to make a bacon and cream cheese if y'all if you ain't from new york you don't understand but let me just put y'all on. Let me just put y'all on and say that all my New Yorkers, let me know in the comment section if you know if you know this combination. But bacon and cream cheese, y'all, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Bacon and cream cheese is Woo! That is heavenly right there. It is heavenly, okay? It's heaven. The lighting in here is making me look orange, but but I have been, let me open up the the um, blinds. But I have been truly appreciating uh, my dishwasher. I love my dishwasher so much that I don't have to wash the dishes. So what I would do is just like wait three days and then just like put everything in the dishwasher. I just be so lazy to wash dishes, but I love it so much. It's like where have this dishwasher been on my life? Like, bro, y'all, I know some of y'all gonna comment. I know somebody gonna comment and say, well, everybody has a dishwasher. Dishwashers are nothing special. Let me tell y'all, I am highly grateful y'all understand i am highly grateful for the smallest things that i have and a dishwasher is something very major to me being that i never had one growing up okay we hand wash our dishes all the time for as long as i was alive 
since I was born, we washed our dishes with our hands. So, this is my first dishwasher. My mom doesn't even have a dishwasher, but she lives right now. So, we were trying to figure out how to work the dishwasher together. We both like, I don't know how to work this. Like, it's, it's literally, we didn't know how to work this at all. I don't have any bagel, but I'm gonna use my bread. If y'all, I'm about to put y'all on again. So, this bread is a Hawaiian, like, loaf bread. Smack. Smack. I can't believe I didn't even show y'all the new collection. I have some new pieces here. So, I have the photo shoot for She Favors on Monday. This is one of the sweatsuits, the cream, got the pants. And then I got, like, the brown. It's kind of like an auburn in person, but it looks brown on camera. But it's it's more auburn -y. And I'm debating if I want to sell this dress. I have no idea if I'm into it yet. It's like a mint green. I'm trying to find a perfect lighting to show y'all. It's long. It's very, very stretchy. It goes down to like the ankles. I'm not sure yet. Probably not. But I just want to show y'all and let me know in the comment section what y'all think before I even go on with production. But I have been um, excited for this. So let me know if y'all are excited for that collection, which is going to be launching next few days literally been working on it so hard so long so hard it's a very like tedious process when it comes to like manufacturing your products instead of wholesaling and I have said that before it's very different but it's very rewarding to see like your name on your on your brand you know like it's, it's like dang girl I done did something now because I'm a little late with the winter collection I am going to after this these sets sell out so I'm going to so here's the thing take notes y'all if you're listening and you're interested in purchasing one of those sweatsuits that you just seen at the end of the uh, I'm going to start off with pre-orders okay I'm going to have a limited um edition for a limited time I should say for pre-order so yeah like I said I'm going to have a limited time for pre-orders meaning that if you don't get yours right away and they're going to be very inexpensive if you don't get yours right away, then you can possibly miss your chance from getting them in general because I am more than likely only going to be selling these for about a month and a half and I'm planning for a spring collection, which is fire, like fire, like I'm not even kidding. It's fire um, and that's going to be launching first week in april by the time yeah the first week in april so you guys just have to make sure that you turkey bacon you guys just have to make sure that you are on it that's where the name she favors come from she is favored by god and where god is taking this brand is new levels so i need you guys to make sure that you're staying on it that you're following our instagram page she favors it's all in the description box and this is just a shameless plug because why not? Monday, I take y'all along so y'all see it. But I'm about to finish making my breakfast and I'll come back when it's finished. Uh Guys, look. I made it. It looks so, so good. Oh my gosh. It looks so good. Talking about the house. Look, I'm on the phone with my mother. Mommy, come to the camera. Listen, um, say, say hi to the, say hi to, say hi to the vlog. No. Say hi to the vlog. Hi. Now we're looking for the camera, right? That's done? Huh? What are you talking about? That's going to I'm back, y'all. I didn't show you guys my nails for, that I got my nails at yesterday. So y'all look at the colors. I got like a little mint green, a little light blue, soft pink, another pink, another different type of pinks. Love it. Same thing on this side. But I was just speaking about how I was all homesick and stuff. And mom sent me a package and it, not coincidentally, it came today. Um, I already know what it is because I've been begging my mom. You guys know that I drove. Ow! I drove to New Jersey. I mean, drove to New Jersey. I drove from New Jersey to Georgia in my Ford Fiesta, and my car is real small. 
so I couldn't take all my clothes and I could not take all my things that I really needed so I knew that I was gonna have to like have things shipped to me and or have things or or whenever I decide to go back just like pack a suitcase to come so I see a lot of things my mom packed me a scissors she packed me another scissors why did she send me some so many scissors I got my Tommy Hilfiger slides that I needed because it's gonna get warm here soon I needed my shoes is my business equipment like thank you cards all my packaging I'm gonna end this vlog here because I'm gonna just end the vlog here I don't have nothing else to do today I'm gonna edit it this video so I can have this video up for you guys I'm going to finish watching some of my show I'm gonna edit this video watch the show um, speak to my manufacturers because we have a call this evening actually the edit collection is coming out really soon all the information will be in the description box to shop I'm looking forward to having you guys check it out and to support love y'all so much thank y'all for always supporting my channel and I'm about to clean the stuff up go on with my day so, I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.